Hello friends. Today we are going to learn the chapter number 6, Wonders of Light, part 1. Now in this chapter, we are going to learn about mirrors, lenses and in general about lights. Then we are going to learn different types of mirrors, different type of lenses. Then again we are going to learn the practical uses of these mirrors and lenses. Now all of you know what mirror is. Generally you know the mirror means in which you can see your own reflection. Okay? The mirror is nothing but a thin sheet of glass. But if the glass is transparent, the light ray pass through the glass. But in case of mirrors, the light rays does not pass through. What happens? They reflect, they bounce back. Now how this happens? You know that a light is a form of electromagnetic radiation. Okay? Now let us see. Suppose this is a mirror. Your plain mirror, what you use in your home, on your cupboards, on your dressing table, just above your wash basin and so on. So many mirrors are there in our house. What happens? This mirror is always coated with some silver lining. Silver coating is there on one side of the mirror. Okay? And to protect that silver coating, there is one. Now this is silver coating. And to protect this silver coating, there is one orange or red color paint is there. Which is the protective layer for your silver coating. So on this there is one red coating is there i have written red but it can be red or orange or anything in that case what happens the opposite side of that silver coating becomes reflective what do you mean by reflective whenever the light rays incident on this surface what happens they bounce back so if this is a Incident rays, you got reflection or bounced rays, whatever you can call to them. Okay, but generally in our home, we have seen the plain mirrors, but mirrors are not always plain. We use different types of mirrors. For example, we use plain mirrors, we use concave mirrors, we use convex mirrors. Now let us first see what you mean by convex mirrors and concave mirrors. Okay? Now let us consider we have a plastic ball, big size plastic ball we have which is hollow inside. Okay? Now this plastic ball, consider this is a plastic ball or sphere we have. Okay? Now suppose if I coat the outer surface of the ball with the silver material, whatever the material used for the uh, coating of the mirror or to prepare the mirror, that material coating I have done from outside. Okay? And above that, again I have given some uh, protective paint layer or something. But let us forget about that. Just consider that this part is coated with the silver. Now, if you cut the sphere, what will happen? What will happen? Any light rays incidence on inner surface will be reflected back. Why? Because wherever the silver coating is there, the opposite side becomes reflective. So this you will call as a concave mirror. This you will call as a concave mirror. Now let us take another example. Now suppose the same ball I have, but instead of coating it from outside, if I coat from the inside, what will happen? Suppose this is the ball I have. Now instead of coating from outside, if I coat from the inside, and of course apply some protective paint over it, what will happen? The opposite side means outer surface will become reflective. Now if you cut this, if you cut this surface, what will happen? This will be reflective surface. 
that means if the light incident on this it will reflect now i have shown the reflection in a straight line but generally the reflection is not in a straight line in case of convex or concave mirrors now this kind of mirrors you will call as convex mirror these are convex mirror okay we are going to study these two type of mirrors and how the reflection is done where you will get the image whether that image will be true or virtual everything we are going to study in detail now before going into that first of all let us understand the nomenclature the terminology of this mirrors okay let us see the terminology first now the terminology is same for your convex and concave both the mirrors okay now let us consider the concave mirror okay now in this concave mirror this outer surface is coated i am not showing the full coating but uh, later on you can show the full coating whenever you are drawing in your exams you should draw the full coating like this okay don't forget this in future i will be drawing only upper and lower part but in exams you are going to draw the full coating okay full dashed lines now i told you that this concave mirror is a part of a sphere and you know there is a center point to the sphere right so this will be denoted by a letter c this is center of curvature and of course when it is a sphere as it has a center it has a radius also so this will be your radius of curvature okay now there is one more term called as the p or pole we simply write it as a p this is nothing but the center point of that concave mirror not sphere the center point of the mirror itself okay now let us see what do you mean by principal axis principal axis is nothing but the line joining your center of curvature and your pole okay this is a horizontal line and this is called as principal axis you can extend this line you can extend this line which is called as principal axis now there are two more terms one is the focal length and one is the focus or the focal point the focal length is generally half of the radius so your focus focal point will come somewhere here half of the center of curvature okay so this af or the focal length is generally equal to r by 2 now this is the point in which whenever the rays incidence parallel to principal axis gets reflected pass through the focal point whenever the light rays incident light rays parallel to principal axis incident on the reflecting surface they get reflected through the focal point now this terminology is common for concave mirror and convex mirrors both now before going forward first of all let us understand what do you mean by convergence and divergence okay convergence means coming at a particular point and divergence means spreading going apart for example let us consider we have some matchsticks where a phosphorus point is here this is the converging they are concentrating at a particular point and suppose if this phosphorus leads are on the opposite side what will happen same figure but now it is on other side what is happening the rays are going apart this is called as a divergence and this is called as a convergence now your concave mirrors are converging mirrors whereas your convex mirrors now suppose both the sides are reflective suppose this reflect reflection is not there this material is not there it is on the both the sides from inside outside that means 
inner surface is also reflective and outer surface is also reflective so this will be the concave mirror which is a converging mirror in case of converging mirror you always get real image this image can be taken on screen because it's a real image rays are actually converging okay but in case of convex mirrors okay in convex mirrors the rays are diverging that means whenever the incident rays are there those rays go apart now whenever the incident rays are there these rays goes apart okay these rays go apart these rays are diverging now in that case what will happen they will meet at a particular point on the opposite side because of course this is a part of the sphere so your center of curvature will be on the opposite side so these will meet at some point on the opposite side so you will get image on opposite side okay you are not going to get the actual image because those rays are not actually meeting so here in this case you get virtual image cannot be taken on screen just like your convex mirror your plane mirror also gives you virtual image and not real image so the only point in terminology remaining is the point of focus that is the focus of the concave mirror now what do you mean by focus consider this is the concave mirror i have drawn this concave mirror by using protractor and scale and you should also draw this concave and convex mirrors and lenses also using the protractor okay don't try to draw it by the compass and all those things it will waste your time okay now in this case this is the concave mirror this is my principal axis this is my principal axis now these are the light rays these are the light rays which are called as the incident light rays okay now whenever they incident on this reflecting surface of the concave mirror and when they get reflected after reflection they concentrate on a particular point for example in this case suppose these rays are concentrating at a particular point after reflection that means these are the reflected rays after reflection they concentrate on a particular point this is called as the focus of the concave mirror and it is denoted by letter f this is very important okay this is denoted by letter f but suppose it if this is a convex mirror then what will happen then what will happen if it is a convex mirror what will happen in case of concave mirror the reflecting rays or lifting reflecting light is converging but in we have seen in case of the convex mirror the reflecting rays diverge then what will happen let us see what will happen in that case so instead of drawing the different figure i will show you on the same figure okay let us just consider that now we have concave mirror okay now the reflecting surface is here outside and this is rough surface now i'll simply extend this point okay and incident rays also i will extend incidence these are the incidence rays the rays shown by the red lines are the incident rays these are the incident rays okay now in this case initially this was the reflecting surface now this is the reflecting surface 
but the property of the convex mirror they diverge the light rays so they diverge the light rays that means these rays are like this so whenever the light rays incidence on the convex mirror these light rays are diverging light rays so if the light rays if the reflecting rays are going apart from each other they cannot meet at a particular point because they are going away from each other in that case our image or will be virtual where it is supposed to be meet on the opposite side that is the rough side of the convex mirror so i am extending this line and i am again getting the focus point here at this place okay this is very simple in case of concave mirror what was there incident rays but the reflection was converging rays the light is converged at a particular point but in case of con convex mirror the light rays that is the reflecting rays are going apart from each other which are called as the diverging rays so in that case light is spread after incidence that is the reflecting rays are the spread out light so you can immediately understand that whenever we want a particular a point of the light the light is supposed to be concentrated at a particular point we use concave mirror and wherever we want a spreading of the light we use convex mirrors very simple generally these kind of light shows you might have seen where the light is supposed to be pointed that means you might have seen the dentist or the uh, ear surgeon ent surgeon use a particular a uh, battery where the a ray of the light is generally there they want to concentrate on on the light pin light they want they use generally doctors generally use this where they want a point of light another thing where we want to concentrate the light rays which is the another example solar apparatus solar cells solar cooker or solar cells where the sun rays must be concentrated at a particular point so in that case in the solar equipments we generally need concave mirrors so whenever the sunlight incident on the concave surface it concentrates on the solar plates and where will we use convex mirror where we want to spread the light for example our street lights table lamps street light table lamps now in this case we want to diverging rays we want diverging rays we want to spread the light there we use the convex mirror so idea is very simple i have seen both concave and convex on the same figure where the incident rays are in the on the concave surface the light rays are reflected and concentrating at a particular point called as the focus point and whenever on the convex surface the light rays incident what will happen they will light will spread out they will not meet anywhere so they are virtually meeting on the opposite side on the focus point so now this is enough for the introduction now let us move ahead to study convex and concave mirrors in detail thank you